Hello folks, welcome to today's demonstration video of my eShop project. In this video, I'm gonna explain about the card total calculation process. So without further ado, let's get into this. As you can see, there are already two products inside the cart. As you can see, item quantity inside the cart of this product is two. Then there is only one of this product. Okay, let's see our cart summary section. This place is showing how many product items are in the cart. There were two of one product and just a single one of other product. So obviously one plus two equals to three. This place shows total price of those products. Then this place shows total shipping charges for those products. Then finally this place shows cart total including shipping charges. Alright, let's inspect our codes now. Now I am going to VS Code as you can see. I am currently viewing cart.php file. For the calculation process inside this PHP script, I am creating four global variables like this. Then I am assigning zero values to them. Then this search query is searching our cart relation for entries made with signed in user's email address. Then inside of this for loop we are retrieving cart data like this. Then this search query is searching our products relation for products with product IDs inside the shopping cart. Then we are calculating total price of products without shipping charges like this. Price multiplied by quantity plus total amount without shipping charges. Then again we are creating a new global variable like this. I am assigning a zero value to this too. When signed in users district id is equal to 4 which means that person is living in Colombo. Then we are setting shipping charges for Colombo. But if that person is not from Colombo, we are setting general delivery cost for them. Then finally we are calculating card total including shipping charges like this. So folks that's all I have to explain in this video. Stay tuned for the next one. See ya.